through death this book was born. This introduction begins in a dream, full moon, blue galactic night, 144 days since the departure of Valumvotan. Fear nothing, Valumvotan said to me in the dream. Grieve not, arise and go forward. Fear not, the world is mere illusion, a plastic facade bendable by truth. In the dream he held out a crystal cube. He mentioned for me to concentrate. I gazed into the cube and at first saw nothing but superficial reflections. I gazed longer and suddenly I saw a long highway lined with very few houses. I noted a luminous glow emanating from some of the houses. Then I was lifted above the whole earth and with X-ray vision saw lighting up of specific residences across the globe. I realized I was being given access to view the lights of those beings that had a covenant for utter transformation. These agents of light reflected through the cube different fractals, together making the most exquisite and fantastic whole. Their minds merge as one in a telepathic network of light, while simultaneously they each open to a different channel, unique and brilliant. These were the wise ones, the makers of things to come, the keepers of the inner prayer, the channelers of the new reality. Suddenly I was back on the highway, and my mind was magnetized to a specific house. Through telepathic gesture, I was granted entrance into one of the female's homes. My spirit hovered over her of which she seemed calmly and happily aware. She carried a single candle and made her way to the desk and sat down. I watched as she wrote these words. The long war is over and the days of doubt are past. What a deep relief these words brought. Then my attention turned back to Valumvotan who was smiling and holding the magic cube of vision. It was now evening, and the stars were glimmering in the clear sky as he went inside, made a fire, and put on a tea kettle. Then I awoke from the dream. Where am I? And how did I get here? The dawn was breaking, and slowly the layers of this reality set in one by one, with all their subtle tensions and densities. A great pressure and urgency filled me, heart pumping fast. Only one thought in mind, finish the book of the cube. I immediately rose from bed and got to work. So here I was left alone, in a remote location in the southern hemisphere, in the place he named Moronga Morov. Aboriginal for Rainbow Serpent, spreading his ashes to the winds and around the trees so that they could carry the galactic vibrations of the dream time all around the planet. The meditation of the cube seizes me and won't let me go, night or day, until it is complete. It is winter time. The winds are howling, the fire is burning, tea on the kettle. Codes strewn across the table and all over the walls. Sitting bundled up in my rainbow poncho and Incan hat seemed to facilitate the process of tuning into a radio channel of a specific galactic information stream, cosmic history. I gaze out the window as my thoughts are directed from an unseen force. I piece together streams of transmission while new streams enter. I feel the presence of intelligences peering over my shoulder, crossing this out and adding that. First slowly, then quickly, the text arranges itself. I surrender to the process. 
Over the past nine years, I have undergone countless initiations as the power of cosmic history unfolded. Within the psychomythic realms, I am the archetype of the Serpent Initiate and Balum Votan, the Spectral Magician. His spectralization from this planet put me through the deepest initiation yet. Where did he go? What is the meaning of this? What is death? The wheel of time turns the cycle of life and death. The meaning of the manifest cyclic order is the mystery of death. Any initiation is a type of death. There has to be death before the birth of a new being that can incorporate new knowledge. At first it felt as though my solar plexus was ripped from its station and my equilibrium temporarily shaken as I struggled with physical reorientation and my spirit longed to follow him out of this dimension. But I knew that my mission was not yet complete. Then a message of comfort came. Do not worry or grieve. Death is a factor in the evolution of spirit. It is merely a psychochemical change of third dimensional matter. Its real meaning is as a rite of passage of spirit. The mission continues. It is an endless journey of spirit. Everything and everyone that ever was is here with you now. The spirit helpers surround you, guiding you. Those who remember the dream will assist you. On winter solstice southern hemisphere, Balumbotaman appeared in my dream and empathically told me, pay attention to what is happening within the sun. Yes, I understand the sun is the source of all life. If the sun is gone, there is no life on earth. The humans must understand the role as part of the biosphere, which is a function of solar energy itself. As we go close to the end of the cycle, we do not know what kind of perturbations the sun will go through. We do not know precisely what is literally cooking in the sun. Yes, I understand that we are being called to sacrifice our smaller selves to the larger vision of the solar mind.